Peggy 18. Welcome to Doom Eternal's Battle Mode. This two versus one multiplayer gives players the chance to experience the fast, aggressive fun of single player with their friends. With five playable demons and six unique maps at launch, Battle Mode is a whole new way to play Doom. To start, let's take a closer look at its playable characters. The Revenant, one of the most versatile and agile demons. His jetpack and dash allow you to move quickly through the environment. His shoulder-mounted rockets deliver consistent firepower, while his special attack, a targeted rocket barrage, delivers heavy, long-range damage. The Pain Elemental. His ability to fly gives him a bird's-eye view, making it easier to track the Slayer and attack from the air. But that makes him more vulnerable when he's not using his rechargeable soul shield. The Mancubus. Big, beefy, and badass. He's got heavy cannons, flamethrowers, and tons of health. All of which make him lethal in a close quarters fight with the Slayer. While he's not the most mobile demon, his smoke bombs can obscure his position or flush out an elusive Slayer. But demon strategy goes beyond their individual abilities. All the demons in battle mode can drop hazards that damage the Slayer, as well as summon different combinations of AI-controlled demons that behave and fight just like you expect from the campaign. Dropping hazards and summoning demons is controlled through a summoning wheel, allowing you to use these critical tools quickly when under fire. In battle mode, players take control of a fully loaded Slayer with all his guns, mods, and equipment. Just like in single player, the Slayer must aggressively manage not just the demons in the arena, but also their resources. Glory kill demons to replenish health, chainsaw to gain ammo, and torch demons to add armor. But be aware, each demon player has a slow charging ability to block those resources for a short time during the round. A perfectly timed resource block can put the Slayer on the ropes. Battle mode is all about fast-paced fun, but the mode's gameplay goes beyond character abilities to create moments of incredible pacing and drama. Take something simple like player outlines. Demons can always see the Slayer, even through walls. But if the Slayer is able to break line of sight, his outline vanishes. Each arena has been designed to allow a clever Slayer to use the environment to become invisible and then flank the demons. This can change the pace of a match from a head-to-head -head brawl to a game of cat and mouse that leads to a surprise attack and then back to a brawl. Every arena is also designed with two portals facing each other at opposite ends that can only be used by the Slayer. As Slayers learn to use the portals to flank the demons, the tactic can be countered by demon players who drop hazards or AI demons on the other end. Working together is critical for the demons. When alone, a player demon doesn't typically stand a chance against a Slayer with all his weapons and speed. So Slayers try to isolate a demon, take it out, and move on to the next. The demons can counter by staying close and working together. There are also important strategies for the Slayer to master. In the air, the Slayer is tough to hit, and the arenas have been designed with jump pads and monkey bars that a Slayer can use to traverse from one portal to the other without touching the ground, all while delivering damage to the demon players. Of course, the Slayer's need for ammo, armor, and health bring him back to the ground, so when he lands to chainsaw an enemy for more ammo, demon players can launch a coordinated attack. One of the most dramatic moments in every round is when a demon dies. Once the Slayer has eliminated one demon, a respawn timer begins, and the Slayer has 20 seconds to eliminate the other demon to win the round. If he fails, the dead demon player rejoins the fight with half health. 
This quickly turns an all-out battle into a tense game of hide-and-seek. Rounds are won when either the Slayer is killed or both player-controlled demons are killed. But strategy extends between rounds as well. Players choose upgrades, abilities, and even super weapons in later rounds. In a best-of-five match, if either side can win just one round, they gain access to power items, like player demons being able to summon the Baron of Hell, or Slayers gaining the BFG. Battle Mode is designed to be a fresh, competitive experience that's full of drama and deep strategies. After launch, all players can expect additional playable demons and maps for free. We hope you'll join us in Raising Hell in Doom Eternal's Battle Mode on November 22nd. Round one. Two. Fight! 